G'day, Steve Morgan here with my third and final technique based highlights videos from the Daiwa Brim Australian Open held on Brim. Sydney Harbour. This uh, techniques video focuses on crankbaiting boats, a technique that I used on both day one and day three. Love using it, especially when the sun comes out and the tide goes down. Those Brim oh, no, love sitting in the shade, and I'm going to take you through how I target them. <laughs> There's his mate hanging around him now, looking for the off scuts. He's just hooked to the side of the head, which is why he's fighting good. But if I only had four, I'd think that'd be awesome. And it really is no secret that my favourite crankbait for doing this is a clear coloured finesse LC Eco Gear SX40. Little SX40, I don't think he's going to count. Firstly, I like shallow boats, and for me, shallow is a 15 foot max or less. I find that shallow water picks up the fish that have come off the high tide flats and holds them in the shade. It could be bigger. It's got a head shake on him. And bigger. And the tackle, well, of course, I like using long, slow rods. This one here, one of the uh, on, seven one of foot two ears. ULS Daiwa TD Zero like rods. It. The ones that they just released the before the Australian again. Open had some samples there and fell in love with this Back light model straight away. Mm, no, he's not. Little. Just a good fighter. The retrieve, well, it's pretty easy. A slow roll with only a couple of small twitches. Oh, right there. Big one, too. Look at him shaking his head. I don't know if I'm going to land this one. It's going to be around the mooring rope. I take it pretty easy on the fish while I'm fighting them because it's only light three or four pounds straight through fluorocarbon. How good was that? <laughs> Six foot from the rod tip. Right there. <laughs> Choked that SX40. Choked it! He beat all his friends too. He's big yeah, he was the big one. Yeah, all his friends were little. Yeah. Right. Look at them. Yeah, but they're all tiny compared to him. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, they're still they're all right. There's a limit there that you'd want to weigh in, isn't there? Come here, mate. Come here, come here. That's it! Yes. <laughs> That's a proper one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. That is a big boy. That's a Sydney big boy. That's a kegger. Be very careful with these things. I've nearly dropped them heaps of times. <laughs> yeah, good. That's about a 36, I reckon. And look at that SX40 in his mouth. That is just crunched. Crunched it, crunched it, crunched it. He is. Oh, see, he's not that big. Did you need a photo of that? 34 and a half, yeah, I should do it with my phone. It's in the back there. We'll start a new big side. I like when I'm throwing out fish that are nearly 600 grams. It's a good problem to have. <laughs> yeah. So that's a 28 out and a 34 and a half in, so that's six and a half centimetres or something upgrade. It's unusual, but I side. like approaching these boats from downwind and casting up into the wind beside the boat. It's one of the very few times I do it while I'm broom fishing. Because he's on the shady side, he's that little. Mm. Then he's no upgrade. And sometimes you can use that wind to your advantage. Laying your line down is really important. In that cast, I laid the line down beside the boat. So it looks like I'm dragging that lure away from the boat, no, but it's really haircut. swimming down beside the hull. It's got more of a head shake on it. Doesn't feel like it's that big. Just got the cranky head shake. Mm, 
I don't think it's an OL grade. It's only got one treble in it. It's polling. Didn't like that this morning, but no good now. What's that? Feeling it. You feeling it? Feels good, the right depth, bit of shade. Big shout out to my cameraman for the day, Byron. He was calling the shots by the end of it. It's Matt Hall there, he came in, he uh, gonna whack him on these boats. Uh, bloody Morgan's there. Oh, is that a bite? Oh, look at that. There must have been a cloud of them under there. Is that a flathead? No, it's a brim. Look at the cloud of them. And right there, that's exactly why they're very receptive to crankbaits. Often these fish will school under one particular boat and they have this competitive thing where they just have to be the one to grab it. There's plenty of tournaments where I didn't have five. I'd, I'd be killing for this thing. Look at these mates just down there. That, they're just chilling. Yeah. They just pump into the tunes of the high drive. Yeah, might be an upgrade, but I've got a 29 in there. Uh, I think he's not going to be big enough, he's going to be a 27. There will be tournaments where I would be killing for this. I don't think he's going to be good enough. Let's get me a ruler. You can get really complicated when it comes to crankbaiting boats. Some guys like tuning their crankbaits to swim left and right and under the hull. But I reckon in clear water, a straight swimming crankbait will attract fish, you know, two, three, four foot out from beside that boat, so I don't really worry about it. But this is the occupational hazard. You'll notice that when I'm fighting what I think is a big fish, I'm already dragging that boat out and away from the structure, as well as winding the fish out. Boat control's really important. I don't think this is a kingfish. Oh, uh, actually. I don't think, it didn't hit like a kingfish. But now it's fighting like a kingfish. It's fighting like a kingfish now. <laughs> but it's also fight like a 40 centimetre brim. Like it, the retrieve was a brim retrieve, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. That's sort of going like a kingy now, though. Yeah. <laughs> that was quite enough. Are you though? <laughs> I'm fighting it. Yeah. Although it's probably acting more like a kingfish now. <laughs> Since it's way over the other side of that boat. Uh, I'm probably saying it's not a brim anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, possibly this isn't a brim. It's amazing the hurt you can put on three pound, eh? Now the question is, a brim like 50 centimetres long and have yellow tails? And that's it. Apart from the pesky bycatch, crankbaiting boats isn't really rocket science. A small, clear crankbait like that EcoGear SX40 light straight through fluorocarbon line three to four pound a long soft rod like that die was zero uh, i approach the boat from downwind usually throwing upwind lay the line down straight and uh, at slow crank with just a couple of little twitches i find gets the fish out now if you're interested in abt events here's the website www.abt.org .au and of course I learnt all of my fishing from fishing monthly magazines. There's one in your state in Western Australia, Victoria, Queensland and New South Wales.